I'm down at the National Gallery in London to look at their latest exhibition called Inventing Impressionism, which of course is all about art. But it's also about an art dealer called Paul Durand Ruel, who collected the work of the Impressionists in the late 19th century and made it famous. Now, you probably have never heard of him, but he is as central to the story of modern art as any of the artists that he represented. This is just one of the many rooms at the exhibition which gives you a sense for the sort of artists that Durand Roll had supported. Over here we've got Degas, Sisley, Renoir, Monet, and right round here, Manet. I mean, it's extraordinary to think that they were pretty much unheard of when he first picked them up. In fact, Manet was basically penniless. This part of the exhibition is fascinating. It deals with the relationship between Edouard Manet, the artist, and Paul Durand Ruel, his dealer. At least he was after 1872 when they met. It reveals not only a very successful partnership, but also the collector's extraordinary courage. He had seemingly never had heard of Manet until he saw two paintings hanging uh, in the studio of the painter Alfred Stevens. He sort of said, who, who is this? Bought them immediately. What were the paintings? It is one is a large uh, still life with a salmon, and the other is a scene of Boulogne Harbor at night. And we have them both together here for the first time in a very long time, uh, hanging uh, hanging side by side. Having bought those two pictures, he then demands an introduction to Manet, goes to the studio and buys every finished picture in Manet's studio for a very considerable amount of money. Many of them he wasn't able to sell for years and years and years. This is the room, I suppose you could say, is the moment that the Impressionists and Durand Royal found success. It represents the show he took to America in 1886. The Americans lapped up the work. Here is a beautiful picture by Suzanne some more Monets, a wonderful Degas, and crucially for the success of this show and for the Impressionists, America Sat. She was a friend of all of the uh, Impressionist artists. She was herself a, an artist of considerable uh, skill. But in this context, what perhaps was important was that she was from the highest echelon of American society. And so when she spoke to Americans, they listened. He saw instantly the, the, the possibility of America. And within a, within a year, 18 months, he'd opened a gallery uh, in New York on Fifth Avenue. Paul Durant Roel wasn't just a brilliant art dealer with a fantastic eye. He was also the most extraordinary businessman, a really enterprising individual who you could argue created the modern day art dealer. He had an impresario's spirit for promotion. He made these artists famous because he knew how to sell them to the public. For example, he would make great big events out of their artworks. Here are five paintings by Monet of poplars. There were 15 in all in one exhibition and Durand Roll told his audience, if you don't come and see them in my gallery over the next few days, you'll never see them again because they'll be scattered to the four winds. And of course he was absolutely right. These paintings have been brought together by the National Gallery from all around the world. Is it fair to say no Durand Roll, no modernism? It's a difficult uh, question. Would these artists not have prevailed even with someone else? Uh, but certainly the intelligence he brought, the very modern thinking about how you market things, something that we recognize uh, today so clearly, uh, was really in, in many ways a great novelty. Would they, have, would they have, it took 30 years, but still, uh, would it have been that fast without Durand Ruel? This is really a show about art and money and how they work together, how they need each other, which is encapsulated in this portrait by Renoir of the collector Paul Durand Roel. He was a pretty amazing man. This, frankly, 
is a pretty amazing show, which is on here at the National Gallery until the 31st of May.